Hey guys, I think it's time we do the full dollar defensive ebook. And we're gonna start right now by calling DB Fire 2. Well, actually, no, uh, we're gonna set our audibles, and audibles I think are very important. I want to have cover 4 drop contained in my audibles. I want uh, cover 3, where is it? Cover 3, uh, Cloud Show 2. I want that in my audibles, and I also want, I also want cover 6 in my audibles. And cover two press, that's a wild card. You can do whatever. You can put cover one robber in there. That's what I'll do right now. And the play that I always want to start off calling is DB Fire 2. And now when it comes to zone drops, that's the issue. I can't show that in practice mode, sadly. But what I recommend you guys do is you start with 25 yard normal flats and 5 yard curl flats, 5 yard bird hooks. That's what I always start my game out with. Unless I'm playing some, sp some specific stuff, uh, which I'll touch on a little bit because it's very complicated to get into every single, uh, every single zone drop that I use for different formations. That's kind of difficult. I'll give you the basics, but for now we'll start with 25, 5, and 5. So I'll call DB Fire 2 for now, and on offense I'll just call a bunch. For the moment I'll call a bunch and then we'll see what happens. So the main blitz that you want to run is you want to make sure that you have base align set as your, as your thing and press. So you go into the coach, uh, What's the coach adjustments into the in the game and you set your alignment to baseline then that's how this play looks and i'm just going to snap this ball to show you that this gets in i'm going to uh for the moment send the running back out this against five out this is an amazing blitz this is going to get coming consistently even in practice mode and practice mode i can tell you from experience uh sometimes it doesn't come in it's very random sometimes it's not going to happen uh but this blitz comes in in practice mode and a lot of blitzes that don't come in, in practice mode trust me they work in regular games don't worry about that you'll get in as right there we got kind of some confusion with the running back but it's a pretty good standard five man blitz gets in against five pretty consistently so now i'm going to do the same setup but now we're going to change the coverage a little bit and this is where you can kind of get creative what i recommend you guys to do as a starting off point is just put the outside guy on the right and the deep and the deep third put x into this uh, middle third and then this linebacker right here in a curve flat now we need to understand how to shoot the run out of this too and we need to use the guy that is on the side of the running back in this case because uh, that's how you shoot halfback base generally and a lot of people are running halfback base now they don't they don't run as much bunch offset anymore regular bunches uh, was preferred and here's a little glitch that you can use you can uh, press X on your user flip the right stick up for man coverage and now I'm holding down uh, you can see this I'm holding down the left stick but he doesn't move and now if I uh, do this and I snap this ball on offense you will see how I can shoot that gap right away and I can get a perfect jump right as the play starts so that's beautiful because that takes everything away because I'm generally not a good gap shooter I'm gonna be honest because I just I just struggle with the timing oh that's uh, that's a pass play my bad uh, but as a pass play, it's just important you cover the middle and everything else will be taken care of. Basically, because the setup on the cover three is just so ubiquitous, it's ubiquitous and make sure, once again, that these curl flats are at five yards and this is at 25, uh, because then that's going to make things a little bit easier for you. You can also switch this. Uh, if you want, if your opponent is hitting you with a lot of flat routes to the running back or a lot of drag routes from the bunch side to the uh, solar receiver side, cross information uh, you can put this guy out here in a hard flat and make sure that that's at five yards and this guy right here is at uh, 25 yards then you just need to put him in a hard flat which is an adjustment that you can also make uh, so yeah that's just something to keep in mind now this is the base blitz it's important to have that now I want to talk about something a little bit more complicated and this is where we're gonna uh, talk about the cover shell that's kind of like this okay we're gonna have a two-man rush and as crazy as that sounds Two man rushes, they get actually pre they actually do get pretty decent uh, pressure, pretty good sheds. And for this, we want 25 yard curl flats, uh, claw flats on the outside, and five yard curl flats. For this, we do actually need this. Uh, right here in this spot, I would recommend you have a linebacker. That's generally better than a defensive end of playing coverage, even though uh, you're not going to have uh, coverage linebackers in that spot anyway. It's just important that you have somebody who's a little fast and has a little bit more play rack, which linebackers tend to have. So now, this is how the play looks. We're going to snap this ball. And you're going to see that we have very, very good coverage. We have very nice coverage. Everything is covered. And practice mode, it's just random. Sometimes you're going to get shed. Sometimes you're not. And in the game, that's going to actually be the same way. You, know, you don't always know how quickly the pressure is going to come in. But as a rule of thumb, that's about as long as it's going to take. If you have got nine people in coverage, you should be able to bag up. Uh, but yeah, this is just one thing. And now I'm going to walk you through this a little slower. So you're going to... Do the same thing on the right with the two with the safety and the cornerback. Like so, so you know we have the cover three setup. 
Then the blitzing cornerback, we're going to put this guy in a curl flat. I generally like to keep this guy on his word hook. We can also man him up on someone if we want to. Then this triangle cornerback on the left, that's our wild card basically. We can do a lot of things with him. We can, if we want, put him in a curl flat. However, that is not what I recommend. I recommend you man him up on the running back and have somebody with acrobat there. Because someone with acrobat can sometimes animate on a low pass on those wheel routes that people in bunch like to throw. So if you have that, that just gives you a better shot at it. And then the last adjustment is going to put, uh, is going to be putting this guy right here in a bluff blitz. Even though it doesn't show it, he's in a bluff blitz. I'll run this uh, play and you'll see how he's playing coverage. And we just have this bag. Okay. So now we just need to uh, wait for the shed. I'm going to throw the ball. <laughs> he just froze. I'm going to throw the ball away. And believe me, this is, a, this is pretty decent. Especially if you have some good pass rushes. This is going to work. Now, let's talk about some more interesting stuff. Because in my opinion... This is now where it gets a little bit more complicated, and this is where you can play mind games. I want to show you uh, a blitz setup that is very similar to this, but it's not at all similar. It looks the same, but it's not similar. And I actually don't have it in my audibles, my bad. My bad, I might have uh, made a mistake with my audibles. Um, yeah, I definitely made a mistake. Instead of this cover one, uh, cover, cover one robbery, you want to have uh, the edge blitz in there. Edge blitz, beautiful. Uh, so I'm gonna, as always, come out in DB Fire 2. And on offense, I'm going to call... This is called Mesh Spot. Why the hell not? And for this, you want to have your auto flip turned off, which I do. Edge Blitz, for this one, you want it to always be on the left. Like this blitzing cornerback and this blitzing linebacker, they need to be on the left side. Then you're going to baseline press. You're going to put triangle into a zone, which I generally put him in a vert hook, even though it doesn't show it right here, is in a vert hook. And then you want to QB contain. I'll block the running back on offense and snap this ball and you will see why is this not working yeah i don't know why that just didn't work right there anyways uh, we're gonna pretend that didn't happen edge blitz three that's gonna be the thing we're going to baseline press so it looks like this and from a different uh, from offensive perspective it looks the exact same way we're going to put triangle right here on a vert hook we're going to qb contain and that's it now we're gonna block the running back and this should loop around once again so we're gonna snap this ball and it just doesn't work again what the hell so this is how it's supposed to look Block the running back. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, now you can see we get the loop. Okay, I don't know why this is not working. Guys, promise you that Pinky swear this this works. Uh, this works pretty consistently, actually. This is just this is the first time I've seen this happen. So I'm going to do this again. Uh, set, set the blitz up and right there. Okay, it's working. I'll try this two more times, two to three more times to make sure that this is consistent. But man, this is, it, I was all, almost, almost worried there because this is one of my centerpieces of this uh, defensive ebook just because it is so easy to set up and it's a nice little mind it's kind of a mind game that you can play with your opponent uh, because when you block the running back for the most part um, the is this why it's not working no this is still working um, for the most part uh, this is uh, where the mind games come in because if I just if I block my running back right here and I just run the regular blitz you will see that this does a better job of picking it up like generally, this this picks it up. Uh, so knowing that, uh, we have we need a blitz that beats the running back as well. So to where he has to think, okay, is he sending the running back out on a route or not really that? But to where my opponent is thinking, which blitz is he sending? Do, do I need to block my running back? Do I, can I send him out? And once again, this this just should beat the running back block. Sometimes uh, it's just the guy takes a bad angle, uh, like the defensive end that's on the line. Sometimes he takes a bad angle, and that's gonna happen, you know. Uh, that's gonna happen sometimes, but yeah, let's try this again Boom boom boom. That's how the play looks block the running back and let's just hope that he takes away the attention That's that's it he, right there. He took a good angle. He needs to kind of drag away some of the attention from the um, From the left tackle to where the, uh, to make sure that this works and yeah snap this ball and you see beautiful beautiful we get the outside angle and this is a beautiful blitz that comes in now that's it for the blitzing part of this pretty much when i talk about run defense uh this this is kind of a little bit weaker against the run i would guess i have not tried this a lot in online games I'm, i haven't done a large enough sample size to where i know it definitively that's definitively or not whether this is bad against the run but it just looks like it's not the best so you have to be kind of careful with that this is maybe just something that you run uh versus a uh, a per person that passes the ball a lot uh, and, and there's a little bit of a tell because this only works with the guy on the left side 
blitzing if, if, if you flip it and it's coming from the right it doesn't work as well uh, so that's why whenever you're using this guy it's kind of a tell that the blitz is coming and that's kind of a deal okay I'm, I made a mistake there he needs to be on the contain I think I just might have messed it up but anyways I'll try it uh, make sure to not touch him that's something that I'm learning as I'm going yeah okay you don't, don't touch him don't touch him because that's me that messes it up I'll try one more time just to make sure you guys believe me that this is consistent oops boom 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 that's how the blitz looks block the running back snap this ball and now you see we get to the outside we get the loop around this is the same loop that we get out of 335 wide very very beautiful stuff okay so now for this portion of the thing we're good this is pretty much all for blitzing actually you know what i'm gonna i want to show you this um that it also works if the uh if the tight end is on the left so i'm gonna do the same setup same exact setup I'm gonna snap this ball and you see wow wow this is amazing this is not working I, I, this used to work I, I mean when i tried this earlier it, it worked perfectly it worked like a charm beautiful um yeah, let's flip this. So you see, this is how that looks. Snap the ball, and if he doesn't come in right here, okay. Well, he doesn't come in. Nice. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know why that just didn't work. Practice mode is a little bit fluky sometimes. I kind of want to show you what's supposed to happen. And I'm going to run this play one time, and then we're going to go into the replay and discuss what's supposed to happen. That's what's supposed to happen right there. And if you have fast linebackers and fast defensive ends, that's going to happen more consistently than right now. But let's look at this. Um, we're gonna snap this ball and I want to look uh, specifically at this situation right here we have got our guy coming from the depths of hell I, I, was, I was about to say but yeah he takes up the guard uh, not the guard the tackle and it is kind of a situation where it's difficult for these guys to figure out who's supposed to block who and right here we have a pass off and this pass off if we're quick enough and we can get kind of leverage on this guard this now allows us to get an advantage situation for a shed and that's basically what we're hoping for if we have fast people there then we just get a step and we're gone basically that's it uh, so I'm gonna do the same thing again I will snap this ball and we just want this kind of situation to uh, happen it's right there it just didn't happen and it looks bad because he's lit up too uh, but that's what we're hoping for on that um, it sometimes gets in free but it doesn't it doesn't seem to want to do that right now in practice mode and I mean uh, this is just right there. We get the this uh, advantageous angle again, and that's what we're looking for. So, I will say this is better uh, with the running back on that side and him being blocked. Uh, that makes it better, as we just have to baseline press um, to this and snap this ball, and then we just get to the outside, and you can see that we get we just got past him, even though he right there seemed like he was there in a position to touch him. He didn't touch him, and he just. A looped right around so now we get into coverage and coverage I think is what you what you should do as a change up more so than anything I'm gonna call cover six show four and if you want to pl uh, mostly play coverage that's fine too you just need to make sure that you, you have auto flip turned off and this is what I'll do right here um, I'll just turn this uh, auto flip turned on again my bad you want auto, auto flip turned on my apologies um, so yeah I'm gonna call cover six show uh, four and I'm gonna come out with just any play. And here's the thing: uh, if you don't have it, if you have auto flip on, you want to make once again make sure that it's baseline pressed so that your opponent doesn't know what you're in. And you don't want to move any of these guys, by the way. So now the cover four side of the cover six that side's uh, mained up. It's cover four on the other, on the one side and cover two on the other. So that's cover four plus two is six. Uh, the way that's set up is that the cover four side is going to be on the bunch. And that's what we want for the most part. You're going to use this guy in the mid read. And on the back side, that's kind of where I like to make my adjustments. I like to do two things. I like to, first of all, um, that looks, huh? That looks silly. Um, I'll reset the play because I kind of want to make sure that you guys see what I'm doing. But I'm going to turn the left side into a cover three. Uh, if I feel like they're gonna hit the short flat because if I don't do that then I have a 25 yard flat right here or 30 yard flat uh, Something like that then they can just pepper me uh, to the short left side That's just gonna happen and that's if I don't wanna if I want to cover that I'm gonna have an outside third on the left and a five yard flat right here just to make sure that 
just to make sure that I don't give that up continuously. That is one thing you can do. The other thing that you can do is you can just leave this and man up the running back. That's what I like to do a lot. Uh, it doesn't show it right here again, which is absolutely immaculate. I don't know, I'm going to snap this ball and you see how we're just following the running back. And we're just going to have a three-man rush. And three-man rush can take some time, especially with uh, the old line of the Buccaneers because they have Ryan Jensen who has, I think, post-up. So, so it's just going to take a while. Uh, but yeah, this is the coverage defense. In With zone drops, I recommend them to be at 30 for the flat because we want to cover deep crossing routes from bunch. Uh, so this verticals, it's going to be covered by a 30 yard uh, hard flat or a claw flat. And 10 yard curl flats, that's kind of what I recommend. I like to keep my hooks at 5 or 10 for this. Uh, it really depends on what you're going for. Uh, without that, matching logic is going to happen. And matching is not bad, you just need to make sure that you employ it spuriously because people in bunch and the meta formations know how to beat match so you got to be careful with that if you just want to turn that matching logic off just make sure that you're running make sure that you're running zone drops that's going to take care of it but yeah there's not much more for me to say it's just about mixing it up in my opinion as always you can just uh, switch to any of this main blitz that you're always going to come out in is the db fire too. be ready for the run at the beginning because a lot of people when they can't pass they just want to run once you stop them a little bit come out in db fire too. Baseline press, do the man coverage, uh, switch glitch, and then try to shoot in the gap like this, as I missed right there, but that's gonna happen. Uh, I'm also using a pretty slow guy, so that's why that just didn't work. If you have a fast person, then it's easy to get in there, kind of loop around and make the play. But yeah, that's the ebook. It's a very short one. Uh, there's not much to talk about. It's just so effective. It's so easy, this dollar really is. It's my favorite defense. If you missed any of my videos lately, they've been all bangers. I showed you how to stop escape artists. This is kind of a good escape artist defense as well. I did not mention that, but it actually is because uh, you get rushers from the outside and the interior is going to shed at some point. And it's just difficult for, the, for, for people to scramble. They need to have good pocket. They need to know what they're doing. And... At that point, it's just going to be a difficult game anyways. But against the regular person who just wants to scramble, this is a pretty good defense against that. And I highly recommend running it. Yeah, I appreciate you guys watching this. If you want to know how to fully take away the escape artist, check out my last video. It's on the 335Y. Beautiful formation too. I'm running the 46 defense, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Uh, but that's, in my opinion, the best defensive playbook for this. Anyways, I'm rambling right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Like the video. The video always uh, just appreciates that. It's good for the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm going for a 1,000 subscribers. That would be huge for me. I would really appreciate it if you guys could facilitate that. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace. Peace.